Hello and welcome to Credit B presents RCB 12th Man TV. It's a young team India against the champions of Asia, Sri Lanka. Hardik Pandya back at the helm. Surya Kumar Yadav, his new deputy. Can the men in blue start off 2023 with a win? Three T20Is to start off the new year and here's everything that you need to know ahead of the series. talk about the Indian team combination as far as the top order is concerned lots of options obviously Ishan Kishan coming off a double hundred in the ODI cricket and a certain Shubman Gill who scored his maiden in hundred in test cricket a couple of other exciting options will obviously be Ruturaj Gaikwad and Rahul Tripathi as well when it comes to the middle order it doesn't get any better than the captain and the vice captain anchoring that department Ardik Pandya and Surya Kumar Yadav but who will get that number six nod? Will it be a Sanju Samson or maybe even a Deepak Huda? And when we go to the all-rounders, a couple of spinning all-rounders in the form of Washington Sundar and Aksar Patel and just the one outright genuine spinner in the form of Yuzi Chahel. When it comes to the fast bowlers, Arshal Patel with 24 games and Arshdeep with 21 games will obviously be the most experienced seamers in the squad. Let's talk tactics and as far as Sri Lanka is concerned, it's going to be spin it to win it. When Indu Hasaranga and Mahesh Dikshana were the top two wicket takers for Sri Lanka in this format in the year that just went by and they will be a serious threat. But to withstand that threat for Team India is a certain Surya Kumar Yadav. He scored more runs in this format than any other batter in 2022. How many will he score in 2023? He will be the key figure for India in those middle orders against those spinners. Oh, Sky versus Wanindu and Tikshana will be quite a contest. And you speak about match winners, you have to speak about Dashun Sanaka, the skipper of Sri Lanka. The last time India played Sri Lanka in India in T20Is in 2021, Dasun was impressive, striking at almost 200, scoring over 120 runs. He's a key figure in that lower middle order. He could well be the X Factor. These are really nice, bro. Thanks a lot for the gift. <laughs> Credit B. Loans anytime, anywhere. Time for some trivia now. Indian fans would love the fact that India have a remarkable record against Sri Lanka at home. We've beaten them on 11 occasions and only lost twice. Remember that India now have the best record against Sri Lanka in this format than any other opposition. But remember, you take the Lankans lightly at your own risk. Over the last three years, Sri Lanka is the only team that have beaten India in a T20 bilateral series. Don't take them lightly. And time for another fun fact. Did you know that India's highest ever T20I score was against Sri Lanka in India? It happened in 2017 in Indoor. India put up 260 runs courtesy a remarkable century from the hitman Rohit Sharma. Will we see an encore? You cannot put it past India. Hardik Pandya has never lost as a captain in a bilateral T20I series. Mumbai, Pune and Rajkot over the next five days. Once again, it's time for Indian cricket to take over our TV screens as we kickstart 2023.